If you have remembered, I have said to you all, if you can, don't watch TV or play video games anymore. And you may say that is pretty extreme. But for me, I have tried it out for two weeks now. Now, there are times when I may go over a person's house and they may have their TV on. Now, I am not saying that I am trying to look at it or whatever, but, you know, I can hear what is going on and stuff like that. But it has been two weeks. So you may say to me, well, how have it helped you ever since you have stopped watching TV and stopped playing video games for two weeks? Well, what I can say to you, my thoughts are a lot more clear now. Like, my thoughts are not being bombarded by demonic thoughts all day, every day. Now, they still come, but not nearly as much, not even close. Even when it comes down to my dreams, my dreams are not, I am not having as many demonic dreams and sexual dreams. I am not having those dreams as much now, which is a blessing, a huge blessing. Believe me, <laughs> my Lord. And what else? I have been having more time to pray. And, you know, I like to listen to the audio Bible. There are some people who likes to read, but myself, I don't really like to read I like to be read too. <laughs> so I guess I am this big kid, you know. <laughs> I'm serious. I like to be read too. So I really enjoy listening to the audio Bible. And um, since I am not watching any TV and I am listening to the audio Bible more, like the Bible makes a lot more sense. Like, <laughs> I am not saying that I understand everything, but the parts I really did not understand that much, like now it makes like more sense. Yes, I need to read more and study the Bible more. Yes, I do, but like ever since I have been listening to the audio Bible, things make a lot more sense now. Way more sense. And let me say this, give me a second. All right, oh man. So let me say this. If you are lukewarm, meaning that you are trying to live for God, but you are having fun sinning, lukewarm, or if you are trying to do right by God, but you continue to fail each time, perhaps what you need to do is stop watching TV and playing video games. Stop listening to music that does not glorify God. Because if what you are entertaining yourself is not praising God, it is going to pull you in another direction. I pray that makes sense. If it is not pushing you to God, it is going to pull you away from God. If it is not teaching you of God, it is going to be teaching you of what? Of sinful things. If you think about it. Things that are not going to help you in your spiritual life. And 
And instead of thinking of things of God, it is going to make you think of things of this earth. So you won't really have a mind for God if you are always entertaining yourself with things of this earth. So if you are only or mainly thinking of things of this earth, then how can you think of things of God? That is going to put you into sin. If something or if most things that you do is placing your mind mainly or solely on this earth and not on the things of God, you are going to continue to fall in sin by far, easily. Because in order to follow God, we have to entertain ourselves with things of God constantly. Hey, Kevin, you know, when I was a child, my mom would bring me to church every Sunday, so I know about God. But that's good, but doing things of God is an everyday thing. If you don't refresh yourself each day, and you are refreshing yourself with music of this world and about sinful things and stuff like that, you are going to be more inclined to do things of sin. Because why? Because you are constantly refreshing yourself with things of this world. Now, yes, you could have went to church from age 5 to age 20, but if you not doing things of God now and doing things of this world more, you are going to be more inclined to do things of sin. Why? Because you are entertaining yourself each day with things of this earth. Whatever you refresh yourself with each day, that is how you are going to be, basically. No matter how many times you heard about God, no matter how many times you went to church on Sunday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, you can go to church all week, every week. When you stop <laughs> and start refreshing yourself with things of this world, you are going to turn into sin. I mean, you are going to turn to sin. So when people comment to me, Hey, Kevin, you know, I continue to fall back into sin. I know exactly what is going on. You are not refreshing yourself with things of God. So what you should do is toss away the things of this earth, per se, like this crazy music and these television shows and stuff like that, and start refreshing yourself with things of God. I pray that makes sense. Whatever you... Whatever you refresh yourself with, that is how you are going to be. Kevin, I can't serve God. Why? Because I am refreshing myself with things of this world. <laughs> exactly, I know. <laughs> this is why you can't serve God right. Because you are not doing things of God. You are doing things these sinful things or you are allowing these worldly things to enter within you. If something is not pulling you to God, it is pulling you away from God. I don't know how to make that more simple. This is why you keep on falling back into sin because you are not and if you are only going to church on Sunday and you are not doing anything else with God all through the week, that is bad. You can go to church on Sunday and Wednesday. If that's all you do with God for that hour or two, that is not good. It has to be an everyday thing, every single day. But people don't want to 
entertain themselves with God every day. They just want to do it on Sunday because why? Because their mom and dad said, well, you better go to church because if you don't go to church, you are going to be cursed. No, you are going to be cursed if you don't serve God, if you are not following his rules and regulations. You are going to be cursed by doing that. If you go to church and still disobey God, you are going to be cursed anyways, even when you do go to church. Going to church alone is not enough. Like God is going to sit there and, and say, hey, this person here have been going to church every Sunday for 10 years. Yes, they are not serving me, but since they have been going to church for 10 years every Sunday, let me allow them into heaven, even when they've been sinning <laughs> as much as an ordinary sinner. That is not going to happen. <laughs> but some people think that, which is crazy. God is not going to overlook your sins because you go to church every Sunday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, or whatever else. You have to be serving God. He is looking for a relationship with you, not attendance in church. Attendance in church. Attendance in church. <laughs> Thou should go to church <laughs> every week. <laughs> If you don't go to church, you're going to hell. What? But let me stop there. And I am all over the place here, so. I pray that all of this makes sense. God bless.